against John Numbers in Winner's Quarters. Let's see how he can do against Carflow, a player who I've kind of always described as someone who can just step on the gas and just keep the keep the momentum of the match in his favor, like in opposition to John Numbers, who is very much a swing second type of player. Yeah. Carflow is going to be in your face. Yeah, it's going to be a different challenge for Dumpling King, but... I mean, if there's anything Dumpling King is good at, it's improvising and fun. Not so much improvising, but like making the most out of any given situation, given the situations he's typically put in are never t usually in his advantage by frame, but it's always by spacing. Ooh, up here, and just getting back to ledge. And just Ooh. know, he knew. He knew that back air wasn't gonna hit. And he, oh, oh, great tech by Carflow. The Holy rock, shit. The rock rock coming through. It's still a thing. But the dark dive calling out the shield. That's something you'll be able to do a lot more against Carflow because of the out of shield. That climb hazard is so prevalent and is so effective. So, calling out with some command grabs like the flame choke or dark dive are going to be so powerful. But then the dash egg, not finding the second one. Oh, down smash? Oh, no, we're oh, just... Oh, finding a second one, no just check. Correct. He's just correct all the time. Up smash? No. Just, I'm just wrong. I'm just, like, I'm trying to be getting Dumpling King's head, and he's just one step ahead of me and one step ahead of Carflow. Oh, but the, the phantom oh. hit on the F till. That tiny little spark. All right, ha Dumpling King had to early up be there. Didn't want to find that same Rock Rock situation. Tried to get the up smash rip and the dash attack as a punish, closing down the stock. Carflow choosing to pop the limit early instead of, ooh, very inefficient use of limit, just burning it immediately. It gets punished for rolling through with that up smash. Dumpling King finding it the second time through, looking for the combo starter. Instead, takes the check chase option, but not able to find the tech away from Carflow. Oh, kind of an awkward scramble there. Not quite able to find the flame choke on the platform. And Carflow with the roll away, just barely not getting caught by the down smash. That nair hit, that nair, second nair hit. He's covering so much space with that frame seven option. Dashing away. God, and Dumpling King just swinging at a disadvantage with this That's neutral air, but that should be it. Has to, wait, brother. Hold, hold. Oh my God. He's back on stage. And he's still so alive that the ledge hang is going to be hard to punish, but the fourth throw, Carflow trying to play fast, trying to play loose, but still not able to find any sort of intercept off the What? The axe kick! But no dice, the weight hit of dash attack, but there's okay. the air dodge, he gave it up, and Carflow, after flubbing a little bit of a earlier offstage situation that could have absolutely guaranteed the game, he finds the air dodge there, something a little bit more practiced in what he's doing. Uh, is just making sure that you are afraid of his offense and beating you with delay timings as he spends so much of the game, as you mentioned a little earlier, playing on immediate timings. There's and no way that up tilt was intentional. No, right? no, like, not a chance. No. <laughs> and I mean, I gotta say, despite all those flubs we saw in the player cam after game one, Carflow, he's big chilling. He did not seem phased oh, yeah, by the end of that game one at all. I think he's used to it from just like the character roster that he plays, like the Roy before the Cloud and now uh, Cloud still. Like these are characters that are very strong in so many areas, but they are cheesable. Mm -hmm. They're, they're gimpable. They typically play a very like information general game along with a uh, very linear type of options. So yeah, sometimes you can find a little, you can find that extra gimmick or that extra little bit of cheese on a character that thrives on playing a more a normal type of neutral. But when you get in these situations... <laughs> All right, Dumpling King has had enough, sir. I can't believe that's not the first time we've seen that kill today. Yeah, wait a minute, huh? That's like twice now? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. That's how John lost his second stock. Mm -hmm. That would mean I have two nickels. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I could get a piece of gum. Hell yeah. <laughs> a Swedish fish, maybe. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> Single yeah. fish. Yo, that hubba bubba might be hitting him. <laughs> Alright, the roll on from the. Look at him sprint away. He does not want to deal with the, the Carflow's endless aggression. So many uh, situations where he just has to, like, guess or 
uh, find any sort of way to gain space, and Carfolk did not have it. Oh, he burned the and limit there, too. I love also the way that Dumpling King, like you were talking about before, those delay timings. You could have seen Dumpling King hold onto that angel platform long enough to maybe <laughs> get rid of the limit. Bro, are you kidding me? Brother. <laughs> I can't believe this. How does he get away with it? How does he know? <laughs> he can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> How does he know? You know, maybe, maybe Dumbledore should play Shulk. <laughs> <laughs> he sees it. He just, he sees the game differently. No jump. Oh, that nair was so good, but the fast fall was better from Dumbledore King to get out the back air with the coverage. This is. This is going across. Oh, the get up attack. I'm like, I see the uh, the plans and the game plans setting up from Carflow, but maybe he's not disguising his intentions too well because Dumpling King is seeing and counterplaying just by nature of where Carflow is putting himself. Still holding on after that back air. It's just a little bit too low, though. Just wanted to avoid the potential, uh, like, two frame. Oh, the roll away. Jab doesn't get punished. Oh, that's a big starter. Choosing not. Going for down tilt instead of the cross slash, though. Ooh, this is damage. Oh my god, that actually sent outward. That could have been huge for Dumpling King, setting up Carflow at the ledge, but instead finding himself at the ledge, and Carflow, with the patience on the back air, is going to be taking it 2-0. Yeah, he plays so fast and so loose so frequently that in those tight moments where you're not expecting to... Uh, where you get put off stage at a weird moment or you're in a any sort of disadvantage, Carfo will shake it up on you. Like just oh but only when it's really gonna count mm -hmm. and never when it's just like, oh, I'm on my second stock or I'm like uh, you're never at risk of losing that stock. It's always for these game winning interactions. Very nice stuff there from Carflo. Not getting mixed up in the in the Ganon momentum, in the craziness that Dumpling King was putting out, just mm -hmm. I'm gonna play solid. I'm gonna play my game, and follow through to the end. Yeah, not getting frazzled at all, like we saw in the player cam before. Just big chilling, very keeping big that chillin'. keeping that composition. And guys, I think that is gonna be it for me tonight. I'm gonna go play some video games oh, before yeah. I go home for the evening. Ubal, it has been a pleasure. Always is good to see you. Good to see you. Um. Yeah, so I'll just I'll just hold it down. We're chilling. Maybe Snivy will come back. Maybe he won't. I don't know. And I will see y'all later. Peace. All right. I gotta fucking up the, the fix.